All right, folks. What we have here are lanyards that are tied in what I know as a snake knot. It's a snake knot lanyard. And typically when I put these on, um, I just tie three knots and I put a bead and then two more knots. And I have these on a couple different knives. These just happen to be uh, two cold steel knives. Um, so anyhow, what I'm going to do here is a quick video showing how to tie the snake knot lanyard. I'm not going to put a bead on, so we're just going to just tie just uh, five, six knots on a knife. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. All right, so what I have here is a Spyderco. It's a Manix 2, uh, lightweight. Um, and I actually have it clamped into a vise. You don't need to use a vise, but it makes it a lot easier if you have something holding the knife uh, or whatever it is you're going to tie a lanyard to. Um, if you have something holding it for you. This um, is a really cheap vise that I picked up off of uh, eBay for like $20. Um, it has a number of different adjustments, and uh, it works well whether it's bolted to a table or laying down or whatever. Um, anyhow, let's just do a quick close-up of the lanyard. You can see what it looks like. I don't know how well the focus is going to be on that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So what I have here is a 16-inch uh, piece of paracord, uh, 550 cord. And uh, this can be any length that you want, depending on how big you want your lanyard to be. But obviously, just fish it through the lanyard hole and then make sure that you have two pieces of equal length. Um, so what you want to do with this particular lanyard is take the left hand side and then cross it over the right hand side and then bring it under. So that's what it's going to look like. Very simple. Take this piece, the right hand side, and you want to go under. See that goes under? across and then through that hole that you created and then just cinch it up and you can cinch it up close to the knife far away from the knife however you want it but you just want to go ahead and you want to you want to tie that up and that's what it's going to look like and then you're just going to do the exact same thing again go across and then under take the right hand side go under across and through that hole Now, I'm not going to leave this uh, neon green lanyard on that blue knife. I don't think it looks very good. <laughs> but uh, I'm just using green for the purposes of the video, make it easy to see. So there's two knots. Let's go ahead and do it again. I'm going to bring, bring this under, across, and through the hole. There's three. Now as you go and you finish up, there's a couple of different things that you can do. Uh, typically what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and tie an overhand knot. Pull that down. Cut this off with a pair of scissors. And then melt it with a, with a butane lighter. But anyhow, as you can see, this is a pretty easy lanyard to do. If you're going to put a bead on, this might be the time to do it. You just, just put these two pieces through, slide a bead on, and tie a couple more knots. Um... You don't have to do that. You can just go all, you know, five, six knots, whatever you think looks good uh, for you. The other thing you can do, here, here's a lanyard I just put on this tool, where um, I cut it off at the end of the knot and I just singed it. Nothing too fancy. Anyhow, just thought I'd do a quick video. Thanks.